Na mimi nataka niwaambie watu ya Dagoreti. Hii mambo ni kujipanga my friend. My friend hii mambo ni kujipanga. Hauwezi toka hapa Dagureti High School alafu wewe ukue mtu ya abana 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 Huyo ni msem gani huyo? Ati nani huyo? This was part of the moments at the Dagoreti High School in Dagoreti South constituency in Nairobi during the official opening of the newly renovated library by the Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency Tika. Turkish state-run aid agency Tika renovated the library in memory of Murat Elik, a special forces police officer who was martyred on a July 15, 2016 coup attempt in Turkey, just one week after completing his mission in Kenya's Turkish embassy. This event coincides with the week in which we commemorate our democracy and national unity day. Five years ago, and undercover faction led by Fethullah Gülen terrorist organization within the Turkish Armed Forces attempted to stage a coup. It was a terrorist campaign to overthrow the democratically elected government. The attempt failed, leaving behind more than 251 dead and 2,000 wounded. Murat Elik was one of them. He was in preparation for marriage. He had a, f a finance, a fiancée, uh, but he was martyred before getting married, and he was just 25 years old. Why did we put his name to this library? The last place of duty before he was martyred was the Turkish embassy in Nairobi. So about a week after completing his duty in Nairobi and returning to Turkey, the treasury coup attempt occurred and he was martyred that night when he was urgently summoned. For this reason, we wanted to keep the name of this hero alive in Nairobi. Speaking during the opening ceremony, Turkish ambassador to Kenya Ahmed Jamil Miroğlu said that the library will play a key role in ensuring the students get the best materials needed for their studies and improve their overall performance, sentiments echoed by Tika's country director, Eyup Yavuz. And like many other projects carried out by Tika in Kenya, will stand as a symbol of Turkish-Kenyan friendship and cooperation bet between our countries. So, uh, I would like to again reiterate that from now on, we will be next to you, we will be next to our Kenyan brothers uh, in the uh, process of this cooperation. And I would like to once again thank all the individuals who have contributed to the realization of this project. We believe Education is a prime catalyst to a country's national development and we must try as much as possible to ensure its provision on a comprehensive and equitable basis. Education is fundamental for a social growth and progress and is an important agent of change. And we believe investing in education is investing in country's future. The Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency, Tika, has been at the forefront in implementing projects in the country since 2012, collaborating with public institutions and NGOs in lots of areas such as health, education, agriculture, sustainable livelihoods, capacity building, as well as WASH. Today, we are gathered here for the opening ceremony of the Dagorite Library. This project is implemented under the program to support libraries for an enhanced reading and research culture. I believe gaining the habit of reading is one of the most valuable things that education can add to a person. So I am happy to be here at the opening ceremony of this critical investment, which encourage gaining reading and research uh, culture for young minds and future of this country. Dagoreti South constituency member of parliament John Kiarie, alumni of Dagoreti High School, said he is pleased that the Turkish government has given his former school a facelift that will enable it to compete to the highest level. The area MP narrated how the current library used to be a dining hall during his days at the school. 
This used to be the dining hall for the Goretti High School. It used to be a small dining hall. And when we got to a population of around 700 students, we had to go into the dining hall in two shifts. So there was a first shift for Form 1s and Form 2s, and then there was a second shift for the Form 3s and the Form 4s. Now, the menu then was not as good as what the boys are having today. The only day that we looked forward to getting into the dining hall was on Sundays. Because on Sunday morning, there was an egg in the menu. So we would have an egg with the two slices of uh, toast and tea. The former comedian who is now an MP gave an account of his old days in the school, moving the audience with his sharp memory of his time in school. My table was right at this uh, second window here. My table was table 27 stroke table 28. So this afternoon, when we stand here and look at this magnificent rebuilt library, memories just come back to me on the days that I used to be in this high school. Speaking during the event, school principal Peter Orero said he was pleased to have partners who are interested in investing in the youth who are the future. I would not say that we are just proud, but we are also privileged that you found it in your heart that you choose this school as one of the very, very few institutions in this country that you want to support in terms of education enhancement. All schools without a library, I don't think that the knowledge that we acquire from the teachers and the knowledge we acquire uh, through experience without a library, we cannot always retain that knowledge. The school chairman Thiani Gakumo said he was optimistic that the school performance will improve with such a facility in place. If we thought we are doing better and we are complaining about a library, so what do you promise to do now that you have a library? Gentlemen, we expect you to do much, much better than you have done before. Kiari said the new library shows the commitment the school has in ensuring quality education to the students and stated that this was the first project among many to come to the school. This new library is a great addition to the investment in this school. It does not mean that we have achieved all our infrastructural goals, but even without us reaching the level where some schools have reached in terms of infrastructure, the Goretti High School has still produced the finest men in this country, I dare say. The Turkish ambassador to Kenya, Ahmed Jamil Miroalu, promised continued support for the Dagoretti High School after completing his first project at the school. From today, I would like to declare that Dagoretti High School is the sister school of Turkish Embassy in Nairobi. Kenya-Turkey relationship has grown over the years, which has seen many Kenyans reaping the benefits of this mutual understanding between the two countries. Salma Salim, Horizon Reports. Adagoe! Adagoa! Adagoe! Adagoa!